Why do we need to know about the greatest common factor, or GCF? Well, we need to know about it because we use that skill to simplify fractions. So if I have the fraction 75 out of 100, well, that's not in simplest form. There's an easier way to think about that fraction. And we can figure that out by dividing the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor of those two numbers. 25 is the largest number that can go into 75 and into 100 at the same time. So we divide both of those by the GCF, and we find out that 75 out of 100 is really the same thing as 3 fourths. So, we got to practice this skill so that we'll be able to use it on fractions. What is the greatest common factor of 16 and 20? So, there are a couple different ways of doing this, but one way that always works is to make factor trees. So the factor tree is for 16 is 4 times 4, and then 4 is 2 times 2. This 4 is also 2 times 2. And I go about circling my prime factors. So 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now let's look at 20. 20 is 4 times 5. 4 is composite, so it's got the factors of 2 times 2, and the 5 factor is prime. Now what we need to do to find the GCF, the largest number that goes into 16 and into 20, is to find the prime factors that are the same for both. So, 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 20 is 2 times 2 times 5, and we see that they both have a 2 in common. So I write that down. I see that they also have another 2 in common. So I write 2 times 2. And then I see that there's nothing else in common between the two, pri the two prime factorizations. So the GCF is 2 times 2, or 4. 4 is the largest number that goes into 16 and into 20. All right, here's a tougher one. What is the GCF of 75 and 200? So make a factor tree for 75. That could be 3 times 25. 3 is prime. 25 is 5 times 5. All right, now I make my factor tree and find the prime factorization of 200. That could be 20 times 10. 20 is 4 times 5. 5 is prime. 4 is 2 times 2. And the 10 is 2 times 5. So 75 is equal to 3 times 5 times 5. And 200 was equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. And I need to find what's the same between both of them. Well, they both have a 5. So the GCF is 5. And then they also both have another 5. So I put 5 again. And they have nothing else that's the same. So the final answer for GCF of these two numbers is equal to 25. Here's a strange one. Let's do this one. 40. 40 is 8 times 5. 8 is composite, so we got 4 times 2. 4 is 2 times 2. Now we do 41. There's actually uh, no other numbers that go into 41 other 
than 1 times 41. So 41 is prime. So we look at this and we realize, well, there's nothing that's the same. Well, no, that's correct. Nothing's showing up here. However, the GCF will be the number that goes into everything, and that number is 1. 1 goes into everything. 1 times a number makes that number. So the GCF for this one is 1.